Hi everyone, Aaron here from Space Tech. Um, today I'm going to show you how to crimp uh, or rather modify your Starlink cable uh, to use uh, RJ45 uh, style uh, shielded plugs. Now first of all, um, you'll need to make sure you've got your right tools. Um, set of uh, crimpers, these particular ones are a uh, Cat6, Cat7 crimper uh, designed to do this style of plug with the um, with the tails on the end. One of the advantages or main advantage with this style is um, apart from getting a good connection on your drain wire, it also holds the, uh, the cable itself uh, making a nice strong um, connection where these don't pull off um, quite as easy. Um, we also, with our plugs, supply um, these boots to make them look all, all, um, all pretty. And they use these rakes, uh, they're called. So these are a wire guide, which makes it really easy to insert into the plug and get all your colors uh, correct before you insert it and crimp it in the plug. Now, uh, you also need um, a wire stripper. If you don't have one of these, um, just a Stanley knife uh, is just as good. Uh, and a good pair of side cutters or cable scissors. Optionally, uh, we can uh, solder the um, drain wire onto the shielded plug. Uh, I like to do that myself, but with this style of plug, uh, you don't have to. Um, so that's just optional. And then finally, uh, we'll be doing a test using one of these cable testers um, that we uh, also have available. Right, to start with, obviously, work out uh, where you want to uh, cut your cable. I like to cut uh, my cable about 10 metres from the terminal end, and then another cut between a half a metre and a metre from the router end. Uh, that gives you uh, the option to use an extension lead rather than having to curl up 20 odd metres of cable every time. Just the 10 metres is what you would use day to day. And then uh, if you do need to get further away um, from your van or your vehicle, you can, uh, you can connect that uh, extension. Righto, so first of all, we've marked out here, this is 10 metres from the cable end, so I'm just going to cut that. Now, using my stripper, uh, we've got plenty of cable to, to work with, so don't be stingy. Um, give yourself a good um, 50 mil or more uh, and score the end. Uh, now, when you, if you are using a Stanley knife, you don't need to go all the way through, just through far enough um, that when you bend the cable, it then tears tears away the, uh, the rest of that sheath. So slip that off, exposing the foil and your drain wire. Um, what you can do, and I probably should have done before this step, is just slide on this plastic boot. Um, makes it a bit easier than trying to get it over all of your uh, exposed wires later on. So just slip that down out of the way for now. All right, so now I'm gonna remove this foil. Now there's a, a piece of, uh, it's got a plastic cover as well. Just peel that back. Remove that. All right, now we're going to be following the B standard. It's the T658 or 568B standard. Uh, now you can do the A standard for most things. We like to follow the B standard just because Starlink is uh, a product from the United States and they follow the B standard internally. So start off by uh, unwinding all of these wires. Might just uh, fast forward this bit. Right, so now what, what I like to do here is um, just using uh, the edge of one of your tools, pliers, your stripper, is just running along like you are uh, uh, trying to curl a streamer or a, ri uh, a ribbon and it'll just straighten those wires out, make them nice and straight, get those curls out. Right, so now we're gonna follow the, 
uh, T568B standard, which is orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. Now it is important if you're doing this for use with our star power device that you don't follow anything other than the A or B standard. We prefer the B. I know there are some uh, Reddit hacks getting around for Tycon power adapters and things like that where you need to do a silly crossover and things like that. Um, the star power power supply follows a normal standard, so uh, in which case you don't need to do anything other than a normal uh, cabling standard. So now I'll start to put those colors together. Again, orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, and brown. And just straighten them out. Now just with your pair of side cutters, cut them off nice and straight. Once again, just checking your color coordination is still the same. Now using the rake, now these particular rakes uh, have an upside and a downside, so they so that might be a bit hard to see here in the camera, but there is an open side to allow the, uh, the blades to penetrate through. Now these connectors I should have mentioned earlier, we've had these actually made to our specification. Um, they will work with the 24AWG and 26AWG cable. This cable I'm using here is the 26AWG, uh, which is the newer cable, which is um, actually a thinner cable. I'm guessing that was to do with cost cutting. If you do have the 24AWG, that is a, a better cable and you'll get, uh, you'll get a lot better power consumption through that cable. So push the rake through nice and gentle all the way through down to the twists so it's resting against the twists once again just checking your uh, your colors are correct and now just with the side cutters cut it up nice and close to the end of the rake so you're left with, with that now we grab one of these connectors hold it upside down pins facing up and the rake look for the so the the grooves in the rake are also facing up and just slide that in all the way just feed the sheath of the cable in and push it so it's all the way home and you'll see in the end of the plug all of your wires are all the way to the end and not sitting back all the wires should be touching the inside now with that pushed up hard against with your crimpers these crimpers are available on our website. Crimp that off. One more time, just double checking you've got the colours correct, which it looks like we do. And now, now you'll see we've got this uh, crimp on the back, which we want to guide, guide the drain wire in behind and then help that down onto the wire so it's sitting nice and flat now just pinch just help those crimps by pulling them across now if you don't have this particular crimping tool um, you could just use some pliers to finish off this crimp on the back if you are using just a standard crimping tool now just in the other side of these crimpers crimp that down I like to turn it and crimp it a second time. Now this again is optional, just with your soldering iron and solder. I like to solder this wire onto the back. Done that just use your side cutters to cut that excess wire off so now just to test again this is optional if you've got a tester this is just a continuity tester now with the other end 
uh, we've got these adapters uh, which we make. Um, you can just uh, you could make one out of a uh, Starlink Ethernet adapter uh, or one of our SPX adapters. Now, uh, both of those are only designed to plug in the other end of the cable, but if you open them up, you can use them to plug in the dish end of the cable. So now we we'll just do a continuity test. And we can see there that we've got all wires connected straight through, which is what we want to see. All right, so finally, we just slide up this uh, plastic end cap, lining it up with the, the groove on the top for the top uh, for the uh, the keeper. And slide that onto a clips. And there we have it. One end complete. From here, you can use your joiners, your recess data sockets, our bulkhead adapters, uh, or our star power power supplies. Thanks for watching.